Hey, welcome to the Community Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Johnson Lynch, here on Big Condo Online. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell, and always, you know, share a comment, man, because I'm always endeavoring to bring you people from the community that I'm excited to talk to and excited for you to hear from. And, you know, this is like... I'm not going to say this is an old friend because that seems insulting. But this is a person I've known for some time in my years in here in Liverpool. And so I'm glad here to welcome, first of all, Nikki Blaze. How you doing, Nikki? Hi, how you doing? Thank you. And you can say old friend. That's fine. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Nikki. <laughs> but then Nikki is not alone. She's joined by her partner who... Uh, they're not newlyweds. They've been together for some time. I can't understand how long people could be together this long. <laughs> but um, she's joined by Taz Nim, who also is known as Manifest. What's going on, everybody? Salute. What's up, bro? Now, you hear that voice, you must... Now, I know, see, people love my American accent here. So I know once you said that, you know, people go, Ooh! Clothes <laughs> dropping off. <laughs> now, I got to tell you, Taz Nim has just came off. A uh, nigga just picked him up at the airport. Yep. You yep. see it straight from the airport. You know, from New York itself and from my old Trumpet Gowns, Harlem. Harlem. Honored to be here, too. Honored to be here. Honored to have you, bro. You know, I mean, really, you know, I mean, because, I mean, like, when Nikki said, hey, yeah, I want to talk about this festival, I want to talk about your partner. But no, I said, <laughs> <laughs> just only wanted to share some old story, you know, because, I mean, you know, a lot of people say they're from New York, but, you know, yeah. when you're actually from Harlem, we could talk about gentrified Harlem with the green taxis, exactly. you know, exactly. and then you disappointed me by telling me that they're trying to shut down Sylvia's. Yeah, they're trying to. They're, they're, they're increasing the lease and everything. So yeah. when you increase the lease, it's like they're trying to shut it down and everything. Man, Harlem, man. I mean, for those, you know, we, we have, I like to think we have an international audience. We will when you share it. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean, like, I mean, this is, this is, this is legend, man. This is legend. Yeah. And I mean, like a place like Sylvia's, I mean, it's like as old as the Apollo. But I, I doubt if they they'll ever shut down Sylvia's. You yeah. know, because too many people support it. Too many yeah. people go to Sylvia's. Yeah. You know, but now everybody goes to Red Rooster. You know, that's where Shay Sean did his um song, his yeah. music. Shout out to Shay Sean. Yeah. But they go to Red Roosters a lot, and like you know, it's like all the old places that I grew up on, grew up watching in Harlem, going to eat in Harlem, and they, yeah. they're being shut down. You know, they're increasing leases and every everywhere just to gentrify it and building big mega stores and stuff like that. Yeah, but see, like, you're actually from my heart. You're yeah. from Esplanade Gardens. Esplanade Gardens. <laughs> now, I lived across the road in uh, Dunbar. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, yeah. You know what I mean? I grew yeah. up on McCoon's place. All right. And then went to college, you know, came back home, because as most people do, <laughs> and lived in the Dunbar. Yeah. You know, that big old maze yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, Have yeah. you ever seen the Dunbar? No, I, 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 I never took her there. No. I never took her. I only it's took not her. really to see, but it is something to see because it's a cla It's a maze. I only it's took a, her through Esplanade and everything. Yeah, I yeah. just took her through there. But it's a, I get. I guess you have to know people in there. Yeah. I mean, so is that run down or? It's it's not run down, but it's like every every they're doing a lot of construction, building up everything yeah. because now they're going to increase rents. If you don't yeah. have a condo in or co-op, yes. If you don't have a condo or co-op. You remember the brownstones that they used to bid? They used to bid drivers row brownstones, brownstones. Yeah, they used to you bid know, them for. Samuel Samuel Jackson is from there? Exactly. Yeah. They used to bid them for a dollar, two dollars. No. At first, they bid them for one dollar, two dollars, and then they bid them for a hundred thousand. Wow. Two hundred thousand. Now, those brown zones are worth like three mil, four mil easily. And full of uh, people. Yeah. I won't say what kind. So, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> last thing I will say, though, is, is that um, did you ever go to Resurrection? No. Because that was, like, right around the corner from you. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I went to school there. It's a Catholic school. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, right right down on the bottom. I'm right down on the bottom is yeah, where the uh, yeah. bus, bus barn is. Exactly. I know. exactly. Actually, I did go. When I went, I got kicked out. <laughs> you know what, bro? Me and you were brothers. I because I got kicked out when I was I 10. Look, Why'd you like get kicked out? <laughs> resurrection. All right. Right on top. See, the thing about Resurrection is a Catholic school. For those yes. who don't know. Right on top. Is it's like it's like a playground for the kids. Yeah. So okay. you can you can go around and around and around and around and play when you get your play time. Well, one of the kids were bullying me and I actually punched them in his face and I got kicked out. Oh okay. man, man, man. Yeah. Let me ask you. Can so I, I did. Can I, 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 I ask you your age? Are you forty two? 
Oh man, you're younger than me. So, uh, <laughs> but I got kicked out when I was ten. Yeah. Anyway, I won't tell you why. So, <laughs> so we got to move on because <laughs> he's great. Oh, we yeah, I got baptized. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, he, brought, he, brought, he brought memories back then. Mr. Mr. Wiggins candy shop. <laughs> oh, see, you bringing memories back. <laughs> I'm bringing memories back. You bringing memories back. Anyway, Nikki's like, why am I here? All right, so <laughs> no, I love these stories. So I really do. No, no, no. It's just fantastic. So. Basically, you know, Nikki has been involved in music, um, teaching, training for, for Forever. years Forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At, actually, my son had just taken one of your courses with you and Tony Broke and everything with 20 Stories High. And I want to wow. thank you very much because, you know, I mean, he's really coming out of his own. So you're a part of that, a part of his journey. So I want to thank you for that. Can I just say, and he is an amazing writer also. Credit to yourself. <laughs> you know, that kid, that kid is going to be better than me. He's going to be writing books that, that people pay for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's just got so many stories. He just needs to, like, come out and, you know, communicate out, yeah. and stuff. So beyond all of that, so with all the work that you've been doing and all the work you have to do as we all do and stuff like that, this this uh, particular event that uh, is happening now seems near and dear to your heart, the Hip Hop Festival. Yeah. Actually, you know, we uh, would just say, hey, we do need a Hip Hop Festival in, um, in Liverpool and stuff like that. And so can you tell me how that came about and your grouping of the Universal Five putting together this Hip Hop Festival for the month of November. So over over the years, over the last 20 years, um, I have formed relationships with certain people around the city. Um, one of them being Tony Broke. Some people locally know him as TL. Yeah, TL. Um, for those who don't know, TL was actually um, Liverpool's first white established uh, rapper. Back he had in the an day. album, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. He's also part, part of um, Cult of the Dam, Blah Records. Um, which is a collective of people from around the country, a, a great hip hop crew, and uh, me and him decided that it's the only festival that Liverpool doesn't have, and we have had hip hop in Liverpool since the late seventies. Yeah. So why don't we have um, a hip hop festival? Makes no sense why we don't have one. Um, we have such a love of hip hop, Motown, soul yeah. here in Liverpool. I yeah. mean, it's it's like phenomenal love. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we were just like, if we don't do this, someone is going to come along and do it that sure. doesn't really understand the history of of music in Liverpool. So we felt it was important that it was somebody that knew the history and had a connection to it, which we felt, well, why not let it be us? And we didn't do this so we could say, oh, we run this festival and it's my, my, mine. We did this for every person in Liverpool and internationally that is part of hip hop culture or loves hip hop culture and wants to be a part of the movement. Now, one of the people that is involved in the five, I was fascinated when you told me about this gentleman. So I want you to share more about um, Florex. Okay, yes. He's from Hull, believe he's, it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he, and he's he, he's literally my, my brother from another mother. So Florex, he came here in, um, I'm not even sure what year it was, um, but he brought a lot of the break and see even though we had a break and see in, in the late 70s in Liverpool he kind of brought it back in the early 2000s and um, with uh, an event called Flanography mm. um, which then evolved into other events that he's done around the country he then later on became um, and me and him also we've traveled a good few places with a a um, organization called Brew Ha Ha, oh, yeah. which was around at the time, and also Roots and Roots, Roots and Routes, which yep. is, is still in, in Germany today in, in Europe. And um, he then became a member of Zulu Nation. And then Zulu Nation then asked him, would he like to become the head of the UK for Zulu Nation? Now, hold on, don't sleep on this because, like, <laughs> you know, you know, these little politicians don't know what you mean when you say Zulu Nation. Yeah, I know what you mean when you say Zulu Nation. You know, I mean, like, this is one of the biggest, like, you know, blind organizations. And I mean, you know, I remember when Africa Bambada came here a couple of yeah. years ago, yeah, and everything else like that, you know. And like, if you see, like, if you actually seen like that um, Wu Tang series that's on Hulu and that's everything right. like that, there's some brothers in there, and like, uh, they were kind of like, you know. The way they dress, you know, they yeah. were only dressing like, you know, um, like Arabs. Yeah. You know, because Egypt's in Africa, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, but they felt like superheroes and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, like in that, it gave a real empowerment. Yeah. Um, um, to people. So, 
having him be the head of Zulu here, I mean, what does that mean? Do you know? Well, I mean, the work that I see him do is just absolutely amazing. He sets up projects with other members from Zulu Nation or people that support Zulu Nation, and they have their own um, um, offshoot charities that go to different countries around the world and they do um, breaking conventions or they will do like workshops for certain communities that can't afford to do these activities and they will go into neighborhoods and communities and try and bring people together which I think is absolutely amazing no no it sounds it sounds fantastic and everything you know so he's one of the five so i mean you mentioned so who are the five because you said tony's not in the five no tony is in the five oh, so, he is so in the, the five. Un- universal five yeah. is is well the core of it is oh, is a, is um me flo and and tony but right. we have extensions like you have my husband in new york mm-hmm. who will Manifest. who will also make sure he ha- you know we keep our foot in new york when we're not over there he's got there got on the you, ground you. then you have another guy which is dj ola bean ola bean yeah well, well yeah of course. um who you know is a great scratch dj and doing a lot everybody of stuff knows who ola bean is <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes uh, we also have what, um, other members in Hall, and we also have like DJ Rasp. If you don't know, he's in. Of course, in, man. I yeah. did, he was on my uh, Crate Seller show. Yeah. You know, about DJ well, well, DJ Olabine and DJ Rasp are also two, two um, people from the UK that have been DMC champs or part of the DMC back in the day. Um, so they will also be on our event at the end of the month. Um, it's not a scratch battle, more of a scratch showcase between the two, which man, we've Rasp never is amazing. seen. We've <laughs> never seen, and they're both incredible scratch DJs. No, that's so. that's New York. You got to have a battle of the DJs. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I mean, you got to you got to try and top juice, um, yeah. and everything. So, let's talk about the event itself now. So, I mean, like this is again, um, it's been going on all month. Yeah, right. The hip hop festival, but this is going to be an end of month party. Yeah, right. Uh, it's going to be on Sunday the twenty eighth. Yeah. So this will be out so that way people can still see it. Um, tickets are still available. Yeah. Well. They're on the door, yeah. so they're always going to be available in that way. Yeah. But tell us who people could see at this hip hop festival. Well, we wanted like to kind of like an overview kind of thing. Yeah, we wanted to kind of surprise people with a few little guests, which you'll see on the night. All right, but don't term- surprise me, but just tell me, <laughs> but tell me ter- who the regulars. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of DJs, you know, we've got some of our legendary DJs who have been there mm. from the beginning of the time, which is great. So you've got um, DJ Two Kind, which is from the L100. There you go. You got you to um, have Two Kind. Two Kind always show up. And stuff. You have DJ Cool Guy, who's also a person who runs um, Ray Ray's. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Ray Ray's, but Ray he's Ray's. an amazing DJ, good friend of mine also. Um, love the food. Yep. So you got just D- remember I said that Ray Ray's. <laughs> I love food. Yeah, come down for the food because the food's going to be amazing um, on the night. <laughs> <Anyway, go ahead. laughs> um, you got uh, Paddy, um, Quinn, um, who is who runs No Faking. If you ever used to go to Oh yeah, No, no Faking. Faking, of course I know No Faking. Yeah, No Faking. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Quinzola. So you're gonna have. Um, him on there and who have I missed out? D Fresh also. All right. right. Yes. Yeah, so so D-Fresh. is it all DJs then? Um, not just all DJs. No, there's going to be some acts. You're going to yeah. have Michelle Lawson, which is actually Tony Broke's sister. She's an amazing singer. Singer, yeah. Yeah. So she's going to be. I wasn't supposed to spill the beans, but she might be doing a bit of Shaka Khan and you Shaka, know, Khan? <laughs> Shaka Khan. Shaka, Shaka Khan. Khan. She can do it. <laughs> She can do it. Yeah, yeah I just did, man. Shaka Khan, Shaka yeah. Khan. <laughs> I was going into the song, bro. Yeah. Come on, how come you didn't follow me? All right. Shaka Khan, Shaka yeah. Khan. Yeah. yeah. Shaka Khan. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you have Blue, Daisy. And there's a, a few, yeah, there's a few acts on there. I don't want to spill it all. Cause, well, yeah. okay, okay. I'll, I'll spill something for you. All right. So, um, you know, you guys have been married and you've been partners. You've been producers, you know, for some time. But you also have formed a group. Yeah. Called Of Course. Yes. Yep. Why? Because of course. Of course. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> and the <view's> over. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of looked at each other one day and went, but of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Why not that day? Um, but so because you've been like, you know, uh, so you've been working and you got uh, a new track. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, you know, are you on Spotify or anything like that? Yes, we are on Spotify. As of course. 
No, as the real manifest, you're doing a setup, of course. <laughs> she she says she wants of to course wait. You are. <laughs> she said she wants to wait to get more material together, get better photos. Yeah. So therefore, I love it how he talks like that. That's how I used to talk when I was married. <laughs> she says she wants to wait. She wants to wait. She says we're not ready yet, but darling, put it on yours. Put it on put yours. It on yours. <laughs> don't, put it, don't put my name on it. So 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 I, like I, I said, okay, I'll put it on mine because my channel gets a lot of um traffic. So All I right. figured I put it on my. Well, 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 hit us with the with the social on that. So does that manifest on the on real Spotify? manifest on Spotify? The real manifest, the real manifest on Spotify. On Spotify, okay, That's okay. Right. So you got your own stuff, but you also yeah. got your joint stuff, yeah. including this current track called Currency. No, that's going to be released in 2022. In 2022, mm -hmm. but you're performing it at the festival. That's right. Ooh, Gotta so get we get something new. Yeah, that's right. exactly, exactly. That's oh, right. I hear you. I the hear one you. that we have on um on on. Uh, on um, Spotify is Call Me What You Like. Basically, Nikki Blaze came up with the whole idea. She had everything spearheaded and was produced by the famous Ola Bean. Mm -hmm. So, you know. What's it she, called? Coming What You Like or Calling What You Like? What You Like. It's called What You Like. Call, call What You Like. Yeah. It's what Sorry. You like. I was in the wrong like. show. It's like, it's like, it's like, a, it's like, <laughs> it's a, it's like an Afrobeat type um, style, but it's great. You know what I mean? Nice. She, she basically had the idea and we wrote the chorus together and we did everything together and, it, and it's a great song so so nice nice but then uh, so on this night um that we're going to get you guys on stage together probably mm -hmm. what for the first time in um, Liverpool? Uh, no. I mean we've 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 put, it's not the first time we've performed together but it's the first time Liverpool will see of course yes of uh, course of course that's what I thought <laughs> but uh, but then you also are featuring our man Tony bro that's yes, right. That's, that's right. right. Yes, and sir. and I must add as well that it is um eighties, nineties dress only or no entry. That's Damn right. Damn it. So please Wait do not minute. turn My up in a suit. Are that old. <laughs> <laughs> please don't turn up in what? A suit. <laughs> please. As if. <laughs> as if. You know, I have an Averex from the nineties. <laughs> you, you can turn up in a suit if you have a big rope chain on. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> like Big Daddy K. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm joking. yeah, yeah. I mean, we got some guest judges as well. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. One of them, um, I won't spill the beans on all of them, but one of them is actually used to be a member of uh, Rocksteady. His name's um, Tough Tim Twist. All right. Um, and he will be there also with his uh, counterpart. And so we have four judges who will be judging on the night for the two best dressed. To who do will best get dress. a prize. Oh, yes. right. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I don't need, I don't, no, I don't have any Adidas. Uh, <laughs> Left my furry Kango at home. <laughs> but <laughs> either way you look at it, it sounds like a really good event. And this is also going to be at the district, by the way. So, I mean, the district is one of those really big hubs there in the Baltic Triangle and stuff like that. And um, sounds like a really happening party on Sunday the 28th. Um, that's this month, November. So it's kind of like the end, as you say, your whole hip-hop festival month. But you want to have this be every november don't you that's right and and the reason we t t decided to do this now is because in 2023 will be f um hip-hop's 50th anniversary oh and so globally it will be a huge celebration especially in the bronx there's a new hip-hop center being built yep. and ready to open yep. um, nice. by some members of the hip-hop community in new york uh, and what is that pardon what is that in the bronx what, is, what place are you talking about um, I'm it's not a hip hop museum. It's a hip hop museum. Yeah. They're doing a hip hop museum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You mean like because KRS KRS One was trying to do that here in Liverpool a couple of years right. ago, but they already, now they already did it. L, L Cool J, everybody came yeah. there for yeah. them. Yeah, Nas this shows there. you how I'm sleeping. When <laughs> was this? So this has already been. So a smaller one's already been built, yeah. but the, a, a bigger one is is, is about yeah. to open. Exactly. Also in the Bronx exactly. for 2023. It's 2023. Huge. Mm -hmm. The plans for it are absolutely huge. So I can't wait. When the death of by Jimmy's. <laughs> 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 he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, listen. You know, it's been great talking to you guys. It's also been great. You know, reliving old home week with uh, manifest here That's right. and stuff like that. You know, uh, th thank you for coming, especially straight from the plane, bro, and Appreciate everything. You. And uh, I will try to endeavor, you know, uh, to get down to check this um, hip hop festival out on a Sunday if I had a free ticket. 
<laughs> well, I'm sure we can sort something out. All right. <laughs> so uh, I'll be there. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> if you if you don't ask, you never get. Of course. <laughs> but either way you look at it is, is that Nikki, it's been good to see you here in our studio here at Big Condo and everything like that. Um, meeting your partner and everything. Mm-hmm. I've heard about you over the years. That's what I'm just trying to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But Thank you, you know what I mean? Not like we're friends. So. <laughs> <laughs> but um, good luck with this festival and, and the endeavor. And also with um, currency, you know, because um, as you say, you planning on launch that. That's right. In the new year, but we get a taste of that on this night. So, exactly. Um, and everything. So you guys got an album? Are you working on an EP as well? or Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we have be. a lot of music. We're just kind of just choosing what goes on there and what doesn't. Because your wife is very choosy. <laughs> no, 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 let me. I'm not saying that. Because okay, I have to I go home. Say that. I have to go home. No, she's not choosing. She's just waiting for the right moment, the right songs to put out. Because she knows. Yes, because she knows. Because the woman is always right. That's right. She's always right. <laughs> oh my god we're so brow beaten so you know what is, i just want to thank uh taz them also you. known as manifest thank you very much thanking the lovely nikki blaze i am chase johnson lynch and i'm your host for the community podcast here on big condo online and you know what we are out of here please thank everybody you. share this share this you know when i take my headphones off the show's over <laughs> <laughs>